Hi guys, it is a lovely fall night here in the end times. It is a Sunday night. That would be October 30th, 2022, and uh, I need to get some rest, uh, getting ready for my days, if not week, full of uh, getting behind not one, but two chainsaws to uh, take care of my little piece of the earth here at Bugs in a Jar Farm, and the Finger Lakes of New York, baby. So on the eve, on the eve of destruction, as it were, I have been asked to take a pledge. Somehow the universe has tracked me down. And uh, the ghost of E.O. Wilson, uh, E.O. Wilson, uh, who, <laughs> who uh, finally went to his grave last year after suffering a severe bout of uh, senility, dementia, and delusion in his final years. So the ghost of E.O. Wilson has tracked me down here in the tiny house and asked me to take his half-earth pledge. <laughs> you know, I, I have mentioned this half-earth pledge bullshit. I, I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> is this really where we have become to it? This has taken, you know, this whole concept is the, uh, is the planet half-empty or half-full uh, you know, to its most absurd conclusion, where now the object is obviously, guys, okay, I, I think we can all agree that we're not going to save the fucking planet. The planet is beyond saving. It ain't going to happen. We are not going to save the whole planet. So, since we can all agree that the planet is fucked, you know, the whole planet is fucked, and there's no way we're going to save the whole fucking planet. Let's, can we just save half of it? You know, and, and, and I'm, and, and I'm, uh, okay, and I've always been a little confused, even after reading this, I have never understood exactly what E.O. Wilson, uh, in, in his final uh, deluded dementia, Alzheimer's-soaked days, what exactly is the fucking concept that we're, that we're working for here? Does it mean that, d d does it mean that d d this half the planet is a completely uninhabitable, burned out wasteland that nobody, human or non-human, can survive on. It's just an uninhabitable wasteland that we've created so that we've just given up on half of the planet. Maybe some jellyfish and cockroaches can have the half. And, and, and so everybody, humans and non-humans, get to share the 50% of the planet that's left? Is that what he's saying? Or I, I, I'm thinking what he is saying is that humans get half the planet and every other earthling we share the planet with get the other half. So, you know, let's just pull a number out of our ass. 10 million. Let's say there's 10 million species of earthlings on planet Earth. One species gets half the planet. Okay. Give half the planet to one species and let the other 9,999,999 species of our fellow earthlings have the other half of the planet and let them fight it out among themselves. We get half the planet, but we're such, what does he say here? I'll read it in a minute. 
since we are such moral stewards that humans uh, uh, we, we are such moral stewards of the planet that we're going to be nice moral beings and give half the planet to the other 10 million you, you, you know and and we're just we're you know we're so moral we're just we're only going to take half okay we're 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 going to have half the other so i'm not sure now there is the question since you, you, you know we need two fucking planets to replenish what humans eat every year since so if you if you're saving half of two planets you know that we're eating every year and saving so maybe what he's talking about is saving half of those two planets you know planet a and planet b and so saving half of two planets is actually saving a fucking planet so maybe he's being, you know, maybe old EO wasn't quite as, uh, you know, wasn't quite as uh, senile as some of us thought he was coming up with this hilarious notion of half Earth. So anyway, I guess uh, half the, the half Earth hopium bandwagon, uh, the half earth hopium train is rolling on and uh so whoever this is i guess the half earth society whoever the fuck who is this the half earth project the half earth project is asking hambo littletail to take the half earth pledge all right and we got our flashy little our flashy little website but I think my computer just ate it uh, now of course the half of the earth that they're showing on their website is uh, the eastern the eastern half of the earth so I guess according to this we're gonna give Africa and Europe and Western Asia. Uh, is that the. Are they suggesting on their website that we're giving Africa, Europe, and Eastern Asia and making that a human exclusion zone? Uh, you know, I'm, 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 I'm kind of like the idea better and better. So we're going to make. Africa, Europe, and Western Asia, a human exclusion zone. That's a damn good start. Uh, I'm warming to the idea of, of the Half Earth project, making half the planet a human exclusion zone. Okay. What do we got here? Learn, care, act. Take the Half Earth Pledge. Okay, take the Half Earth Pledge, and we start with a quote from our godfather, the deluded old fart, E.O. Wilson, who we lost uh, last year. <clears throat> take it away. Uh, E.O. Wilson, <clears throat> quote, We, meaning humans, we ourselves are part of the living world and the only species, we are the only species with the intelligence, yes, and thereby the moral responsibility to serve as its caring steward. Okay, yeah, let's, let's, let's change a few words, EO. We ourselves are the, I would say, the leading cause of the dying world and the only species with the stupidity to, you know, destroy the world and thereby the moral 
responsibility to serve as its destroyer. Yes, okay. There you go. Thank you, uh, E.O. Wilson, with those with those warm words. <clears throat> All right, back to the Half Earth Project with science at its core and our moral obligation to the rest of life at its heart. The Half Earth Project, you know, little R with circle in it. The Half Earth Project is working to conserve half the land and sea, to safeguard the bulk of biodiversity and create the foundation for a revolutionary movement, culture taking action to achieve this visionary goal. Be a voice for half the earth. Yes, I'm gonna be a voice for half the earth. Fuck the other half of the earth. The other half of the earth can go fuck itself. The other half of the planet is already fucked. So not e there's no sense even talking about that half of the planet. We don't want to hear about that half of the planet that we fucked up, the, you know, into oblivion. Sign the Half Earth Pledge. Okay, what are they asking me to sign? The Half Earth Pledge. I, Hambone Little Tail, believe that everyone has a role in protecting endangered species and ecosystems. As a global citizen and using my unique skills and abilities and not one but two gas sucking chainsaws, I pledge to contribute to our understanding of biodiversity and support scientific innovation to achieve the goal of half Earth. Yes, to promote educational initiatives that connect students with the natural world and inspire them to become our next generation of conservation stewards. Yes, I remember the last time that I uh, hung out with a, uh, well, not by choice, it was kind of inflicted on me with this fucking little 14 year old punk and uh, we were uh, in the Redwoods out there in uh, Northern California, you know, anybody who's been to the, uh, to the Redwoods knows what I'm talking about. And he was complaining that the Redwood trees were interfering with his video games. He had traveled from Texas to, well, his parents had dragged him kicking and screaming from Austin, Texas, you know, out to the Redwoods to see the Redwoods and to be, what is it, to be the part of the next generation of conservation stewards. He was whining about how those big trees were fucking up his video games. Okay. Advocate for conservation action and collaboration within my community. Yes. And expand the Half Earth Movement will expand the Half Earth Movement. That's kind of, a, is that kind of an oxymoron, expand the Half Earth Movement? The Half Earth Movement culture, by sharing my commitment with friends and family, my little, my little uh, artificial friends, what do I call them uh, on YouTube? Uh, and encouraging them to join me in signing the Half-Earth Pledge. 
together we can achieve the goal of half Earth. Yes, the goal of half the Earth and protect sufficient habitat to steward the enduring stability of our planet. Yes, species diversity is the foundation of a healthy planet. Today, species are going extinct at an alarming rate. There is a solution. It is called half Earth. So, what there? They have this little map, and I what they're claiming is uh, for anyone. I guess I guess the, the the these clueless fucking morons have never read Manga Bay. What they're claiming right now is that 17% of the Earth is protected, uh, you know, in these protected areas. Uh, I was reading a story today in the Brazilian elections, and of course, have we heard, let's all give a hand to, give a hand to Lula for, uh, for, uh, <laughs> I bet a Lula, we'll see if Lula is still alive on January 1st. Uh, we will see if Bozo Nero is going to go quietly into that good night. We're, we can expect a, another January 6th. Probably we can expect a December 6th down there in Brazil. Uh, as Fat Boy says, blood is going to flow in Brazil after this one, that, that fucking Bozo Nero, yeah, uh, that little, you know, that, that little Trump clone. But anyway, uh, I was just reading this article that, uh, not about Bozo Nero, but about one of the guys running for governor. I don't know if he won or not. My guess is that he did. The leading candidate uh, and, and I guess Rodonia, the state of Rodonia, is one of his major platforms is to delist this uh, protected area like five times the size of New York City. Uh, he is using that as a campaign promise to get votes. Uh, the, the very notion of a protected area it, it, it's become, it's become as big. A, it, it, it's right up there with sustainable development as the oxymoron of the 21st century. There is no such thing as a fucking protected area. Seventeen percent of uh, the planet, my ass. Uh, you know. Going there, drawing these little green lines uh, on maps and calling them protected areas. It, it's a fucking joke. Everybody knows it. 17% my ass. But anyway, should I take the pledge? Okay. So, of course, they, uh, they want my name and my email, blah, blah. Okay. The reason I am pledging my support is because, complete the sentence, the reason I am pledging my support is because I have a dark, twisted, macabre, how do you spell that? M-A-C-A-B-R-E? Yeah. I have a dark, twisted, macabre sense of humor and the very notion of the half earth half earth 
project appeals to my sense to my appreciation come on appreciation what's appreciation of ironic absurdity there you go submit your pledge all right I have submitted my pledge and uh, what am I supposed to do? Encourage you to do the same. Is there anything else we not? Yes. Share half earth with your family and friends. And there you go. Share a blog or a video. Yes. Or a quote from our website. Share your own thoughts about your favorite place in nature. Share your own thoughts about your favorite place. And my favorite place in nature is about uh, 200 feet from here, where if Alistair will get his ass here, where is that boy? It's damn 9.30, he ain't here yet. Uh, my favorite place in nature is right up this hill in front of the third tiny house where uh, we have two chainsaws with our name on them waiting for the song of the chainsaw. Anyway, grab your chainsaw and uh, save half the planet while you still can. Because as we all know, it's too fucking late to save the first half. My guys.